jump right in and talk about securities at Cybers, complying with market regulations, cutting costs, de-risking, increasing efficiency. That's what everybody is trying to do across the securities transaction chain. And here at Cybers, there are a host of discussions and debates that will be taking place over the next few days, everything from OTC derivatives and the regulatory burden of market infrastructures. And joining us to discuss some of these issues now is Fabian van der Reit, who joins me now, and he is the head of securities and treasury markets here at SWIFT. Always good to see you. Thanks very Hello. much for joining us again. Let's start off with what are the hot topics for 2012? Well, 2012, as you rightly pointed out, is regulation is, is all, all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, and what we are trying to do this week is to give uh, the, the, the community here a broad uh, overview of what that uh, means. So if I may maybe cover how the week will unfold. And sure, you split it up into three. We, we did actually. We, we, we try and have one team per day. Mm -hmm. So um, tomorrow it's about regulation, really. Um, Wednesday it's about back office and how we can get out uh, the cost uh, out of the back office. And Thursday it's about um, middle office or the confirmation up, up, upstream processes mm -hmm. and how we can, as you rightly say, de-risk uh, mm -hmm. this this. Okay, so let's delve into regulation then and trade repositories. That's definitely one of the key issues within regulation. Tell us what your views are on that. Maybe a little bit about the historical sure. context, what that actually would mean for the community, and then what that means for SWIFT. Yeah, thank you. So trade repositories, if to make it very simple, um, comes from the regulators uh, that decided they wanted to have a better view on what's going on, what, the, what trades are being done, by whom, mm -hmm. so that they can better mitigate and, and control risk, mm -hmm. the counterparty risk, after all the incidents we had in sure. uh, starting in 2008. So there are various regulations that mandate a trade repository to be uh, created, mm -hmm. so that all those trades are fed into that repository and the regulator can just do some an statistical analysis and reporting. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the discussion that is hot today is you have per different instrument, mm -hmm. you have one trade repository, mm -hmm. but you also have various jurisdiction. Uh, and then the question is, do we need one major big database mm -hmm. or is it feasible or is it even desirable? Mm -hmm. Or do we need several of those per, per country, for instance? So um, now it's in the middle of, of being delivered in, at various stages. So what does it mean for the, the people here, the, the banks, is that they have to uh, hook up to those trade repositories and at different moments during the day feed and give their trades into this, mm -hmm. uh, which obviously it's, it's a change for them, it's a, it's a cost as well, mm -hmm. but uh, because it's a regulation mandate, I, I mean, everybody will have to comply. Sure. Uh, and and you at SWIFT will obviously be playing a big role. Uh, indeed, because depending on the model, where, whether it's a big or repository or various repositories all over the world, mm -hmm. uh, p participants will need some mechanism, messaging, network mm -hmm. to, to connect themselves to those trade repositories and our role will be to diminish the cost for them to do this. Right, so that's regulation and then you also mentioned the back office and a key theme there is collateral management. Just tell everybody about what are some of the main issues for you with regards to collateral management. Uh, collateral management, maybe to make it explain what it is very simply, it's a bit related to the previous topic, mm -hmm. it's collateral management is the process to make sure that people who have exposure against each other, mm -hmm. two counterparties, are covered mm -hmm. so that one, if one goes bust, to make it simple, uh, the other is protected. Sure. And it is actually a process whereby people negotiate how much collateral they need mm -hmm. and when they agree with that, they exchange that mm -hmm. in the form of cash mostly. Okay. Um, why is it important? The same thing. Uh, we want to make sure we don't end up in another crisis where there is a systemic effect if one counterparty goes down. Um, it's a process that existed already in the CCP, in the Central mm -hmm. Clearing Counterparty, but now it's getting much more pervasive. Mm -hmm. um, every custodian that have um, obviously cl clients' accounts will need to cover those clients' accounts separately. Yeah which will create a, a need for more connectivity among everybody. Mm -hmm. And again, that's where we SWIFT can help mm -hmm. uh, by hooking up all those counterparties to, to ease that collateral management process. Okay, and then one of the last topics we want to talk about is this idea of matching. 
that is your third theme. Indeed, and that will be on Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, their matching, I think we've spoken about matching in the past, but it's, it's even more critical today for various reasons. One of them is that um, there is a need and uh, some regulation that will prescribe a shortening of s uh, what we call the, the settlement cycle. Mm -hmm. So when a trade is done on a specific day until it's settled, and we call that T plus two, mm -hmm. so trade date plus two, you can only achieve this if you match your trades, confirm your trades very early in the process, mm -hmm. if possible on the same day they were traded. Mm -hmm. You can't do this manually, you can't do that with the facts. So the need for automation at the trade confirmation level is, has never been so high. high. So, um, and that's where also SWIFT we can help there in various ways. Mm -hmm. uh, messaging is one, mm -hmm. but also by providing those applications that can uh, ease the, the matching of confirmations. Okay, well, you've got a very busy week. Thanks so much for taking the time out to come and chat with us. It's always a pleasure to see you, Fabian. Fabian Vanderay there at SWIFT. Thank you.